Hello again. In this video, I will explain you Solaris 11 boot environments. Boot environments are very important for the uh, Solaris operating system because sometimes you are not able to boot your operating system uh, because of missing files or unconfigured uh, services or any other uh, problems. Let's start. I will show you boot environments uh, options firstly to you and boot ADM list is using to list your boot environments boot environment mean is uh, you are boot your operating system uh, we are using this environment uh, it contains bootable partition inside of that and there is ZFS image of uh, your operating system and in the section i will create new boot environment and i will destroy boot environment i will recover a file from boot environment and i will open uh, start up your uh, system uh, via using created new boot environment the adm list shows that and the adm create uh, name of the boot environment the uh, test it will be created your actually your current system boot environment yeah the ADM list shows that your boot environment created on the uh, test it is 107 megabytes and now there is uh, something in here and a cool now and R equal reboot. After reboot, this boot environment will be open if you don't uh, got up on the OK prompt. Otherwise, when you are restart your computer, now it is mounted to uh, your root environment and uh, it will be booted on Solaris One environment. Yeah. Now I will change your boot environment. BDM activate. Activate mean is activate mean is your new boot environment will that and your boot environment option will be changed. BDM list shows that. Yeah, here you are. You see, after reboot, your new boot environment will be open. If you don't do anything, if you don't uh, go to OK prompt or anything, when you are writing and boot your system, your system will be booted automatically by a dash test boot environment. Did you did you notice that it was uh, changed changed its uh, lo um, size of the file, and now I will activate another boot environment which is Solaris one yeah it's good now I will give an information to you and I'm sorry yes in your mm, yeah there is no little data in here. I will instead of that. Yeah, there are many uh, files in here. I will remove all of them. Yes, it's free now. Yeah, list. I will mount. mount your boot environment to mnt and as you see in here it is mounted to here and i can uh, recover my deleted file from here uh, yeah yes your all data in here copy all data to data see. 
list yes b a d m you mount your boot environment hmm good i am inside of that sorry yes when you check the boot environment okay fine it was gone now i will check my files yes my files are here i recovered all files from uh, boot environment okay now let's boot system uh, with using boot environment test boot environment it is not activated at the moment i will activate it uh, on the ok prompt now i go to ok prompt at the moment In is zero is uh, okay prompt on the spark systems which is spark system and i go to okay prompt which means obp and i boot the system from there which is just uh, just a little different uh, from x86 systems yes okay if i write the boot in here i know that it's automatically boots from here from solaris dash one but i want to boot the system with ba dash test boot minus big l capital l yeah it shows you all of the boot environments and i want to boot with five yeah it says that just write this one z copy and paste all of them yes it's fine it find the boots directory and boot the system up if you have problem on your boot environment and uh, on your operating system uh, if you want to boot your system with another boot environment, you should use boot dash capital L. The ADM list shows us. Yeah, now I mounted it in here, and after reboot, it comes to here. You can check it with init 6 which is restart your computer restart your system and at 6 we are waiting that system will boot uh, over solar stash 1 because after reboot uh, our boot environment will be used Init levels are fine to uh, restart or reboot your computer or stop your uh, system. Init level is fine. Yeah. Don't use shutdown, reboot or any other thing uh, when you stop your computer or uh, when you restart your computer. Just use the init uh, levels. Yeah, fine.
Now, as you see in here, Solar Stash 1 is now in reboot and system booted uh, via using this boot environment. Now I can destroy. I don't know the exact. Yeah. Yes. If you want to, yes, your all data, all boot environment, all ZFS file system will be lost. Fine, check it. Yeah, there is no any other boot environment that I create a new one. Yeah, it's very easy to use boot environment on your system. Uh, please get your backup uh, without any tool with using ZFS file system with boot environment. Thank you, thank you to listen to me. Uh, see you bye.